guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my shot my stash video. Um, I do two of these a month. And the first thing I generally do is go through the products that I had out and then I put them away and then get some new things. And this is everything that I put it into. This is the basket I put it into together with the panning. So if you're interested in seeing everything, then just keep watching. So guys, I pulled more products than I normally would because of the whole Valentine's Day thing. Just any excuse is an excuse. So I'm just going to go through things per drawer, put them back, and then we'll pull some new things. So the first drawer is foundation. So for foundation, I pulled the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Fair 3W. I am usually the palest shade in everything with a pink undertone and I was curious whether this shade would work for me and surprisingly enough it did. It is a general tinted moisturizer. I did like it. It doesn't cover any pimples or anything like that but it does the job. Kind of a glowy of finish on me and I really loved using it. hate putting it away. I am panning um, correctors at the moment so I didn't want to wear them together because I felt like it was way too full coverage if I did that for my own preference. But I'm really glad that I have this now and yeah, putting this back. Then for concealer, I had this from Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. There's four grams in it. I really liked this, guys. It has a very similar wand to the Tarte one. You know, the full coverage one, Shape Tape. Okay, guys, the kitten is in the corner plotting something so if we have any interruptions i apologize this is in the shade c1 and it is brightening and it worked perfectly well for my skin tone really loved this as well lasts really long do we have a window do we have a window uh as it stands i would like to have this again in my collection if i ran out personally and it wasn't that expensive relative to other items so pretty glad to have this it wasn't very mattifying either it was like just perfect just perfect. Now I have it on today though and it's not perfect today but I do have a corrector underneath it and I am blaming the corrector because this has been perfect otherwise. So this can go back. Happy to use and rotate a bit more. Primer. I got this from Ashley um, here on YouTube. I'll link her down below. Really lovely human being. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter, filter Instant Complexion Refresh and this one is 15 mils. Once this is gone, I want to buy it again. I'm so glad I got to try it because there was no way I was forking out that money without knowing. Do you know what I mean? But it kind of put a purple sheen on my skin, made everything glow and kind of evened out my complexion a bit. And it wasn't glittery at all. It's a bit runny, which is fine. Not too runny, but a bit runny. So you don't need a little bit and then put it all over your face. I tried putting it underneath my eyes as well because I saw Alex did that and I loved it. So thank you, Alex, for that. And yeah, as it stands, I kind of want to repurchase this should it run out. I am quite low down, so I'll probably put this into a project. Yeah, put it away. Put it away, girl, put it away. Is there anything else in this drawer? Powder, yeah. So for powder, I pulled in this Sexy Mama from The Balm. It is 7.08 grams and it's allegedly a translucent. Is that what it is? A translucent powder anti-shine. So it has a little bit of kick up, which not everyone likes, but I do. It does give you a little bit of coverage, a little bit, and it does certainly mattify. However, I paid 10 euros for this because it was, I think they were getting rid of the balm out of that chemist. And But I think it's normally like 20 something euros. I wouldn't pay 20 something. Well, okay, everything in Ireland is most of the time I can't get it on sale. So most of the time I'm going to have to pay full price for pretty much everything. But the Rimmel powder is just as good as this. So in this instance, I would just get the Rimmel one. But because it's a tenner, it's perfectly fine. It's perfect. It's a perfect powder. I'm just saying price wise, it like for 20 something quid, it's not like, what is it doing any different than Rimmel? Nothing. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Right, that's the full first drawer. Then we just pull in the second one, put stuff away from here. So I had this primer in twice actually because I was panning another one and I'd almost finished it. So this is a BH Cosmetics Base Booster Glitter. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Look, Glitter and sh Shadow Glue. And I was just about to mention something. I didn't even read it. So this is a sticky eyelid primer with zero base pigment. And I generally, for a primer, would like a smidge of base pigment normally but it's it's perfect for the job of priming your eyes but I also as it suggested which I didn't realize had been using it as a glitter glue as well so I'd like put it down do my eyeshadow whatever but if I was going to put glitter I would put a little bit of this over 
my eyeshadow uh, to tap on a little bit of glitter because there was no base pigment you could do that and I thought this is the best thing ever <laughs> it was written on it oh there's 10 mils in it I actually really like it I got this from Ellen and I'm so grateful so bloody grateful then for the same drawer I pulled in this and I actually wore this on Valentine's Day this is the Stila please tell me it's the glitter and glow because I never know which is which yeah it's the glitter and glow from Stila in the shade Sunset Cove and I was trying to figure out if it was a dupe for something I already have and it isn't oh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and shiny it's so shiny and it's just so gorgeous and I kind of want to finish it but it's just so pretty look at my windows is that anything what does that say to you I used it I used it I think that's everything from here. So I had pulled in these two matte, I don't normally pull in this many lip products because again, guys, I'm panning something from everything. So I don't want to be pulling in too many. It's generally one of each thing, but for Valentine's Day. So I pulled in these two. So this is the Matte Me from Sleek on both of them and Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. Wouldn't really call it a lip cream. Six mils and this one is in Crushed Lavender and this one is in Cinnamon Spice. Now, I panned a full one of these before and it will take you a long time and it took the stopper out. This, the color of this is actually really nice and the color of this is actually really nice. And that's what what frustrates me because I keep things that are incredibly uncomfortable just because of the color. Um, and I probably will in the future, but this one I know because I panned it before. So I'm going to declutter these. It is a beautiful color. It's a really thin uh, text, like thin product on your lip, thin. You can see all the lines on your lip and more. It like, that's what it does. It kind of, it sucks the life out of your lip. Now I put a lip gloss over top, which I did when I was panning it. And what I noticed is, it, yes, it made it a bit more comfortable, but my lips still looked all liney in a not nice kind of sucked way. So I was like, no, I have loads of this color. However, I don't have any of this color, but at the same time, I'm like, am I going to pull for that if it wasn't in a project? And the answer is no. So I'll wear things even if it's uncomfortable, if I think I'll pull for it, if it wasn't in a project. These, it just won't. So then I was like, this is the last one I own. So I'm going to also declutter this one. This one I haven't worn because birthday suit is the one that I panned before. And I had three of them. I had three in the shade birthday suit. So I'm going to declutter these. This I can give away because I haven't used it. And you can see like the thing is still on it. This, like, what do you do? This is the problem. What do you do with these? What do you do with them? But either way, they're leaving. They're leaving, they're going into my declutter drawer. So that's like to be left out. The other lip products I had in were three bullet type lipstick products. This is from ColourPop. This is the lippy stick in the shade Westy and it is a matte formula. Guys, I don't normally wear pink lip sticks. I just don't feel confident in them because I feel like they make my teeth look even more yellow. But this was so beautiful. It was like a cool tone pink. I think cool tone pink seemed to work for the yellow problem that I feel like I have. But it's so stunning. I absolutely love this one. Look at it. Look at it. You know, it's just so nice. It's so nice. And I preferred this one over the MAC one. But I even used it. Like I hadn't used it before. And now look at it. Yeah, girl. You did it. So this has to go back into the drawer. This one here. This one is from MAC. And it's the Kelly Osborne one. And it's in the shade uh dodgy girl it's matte and i enjoy the formula of this but the color like some days i'm like oh yeah and then other days i'm like oh i don't know it's very purple on my lip which normally i do enjoy but out of the two i much prefer this so like part of me is like well do i keep this i think i'll keep this in and chopping block it to see if i'll declutter it these ones is easier to sanitize but again it's probably older so i'll just check that one out but anyway i just want to leave this one in to chopping block it. This one I got from LN very recently. It is the Lancome one in the shade 161 Red Stiletto and it is a cream formula. And uh, I really liked this. Now, my, this is my only experience with Lancome, okay? It's my only experience. It is creamy in a nice way. It does transfer, it does move, it does all of the things a normal lipstick would do. So generally I would prefer to wear a red liquid lip but I only have I have one red liquid lip and then the rest are bullets because they're just nice colors but it was such a nice color but be warned it does move on your cheek which is what happens to me all the time but I'm just a giant mess okay so that's going back in the drawer 
Is that everything? No, I had a lip gloss in as well. This one is from Soap and Glory. It is the Sexy Mother Pucker in Plums Up. This one disperses, like versus the lips gloss I was panning previously, doesn't put a lot on the wand at any given time. So you're not going to have a thick gloss layer unless you kind of keep going, if you get me, because it only is quite thin. It's a little bit plumping, so it has a little bit of a tingly feeling. I actually quite enjoy it. I think I'm going to pan this one next. But yeah, I like this. I have two of them, one in like two different shades. I got them for Christmas. So this is going back in my drawer in my drawer okay so i forgot to mention this so in up here at the top cream so i pulled in a fenty cream blush in the shade cool berry 09 cool berry it's beautiful i wore it like 12 times actually i could specifically check but i wore it i think 12 times and look at it so what i noticed okay shade is stunning and I use this sponge, this particular sponge to do it. And before what I had been doing is like swiping. You get me like swipe, swipe and then tap it on my face. And it would be a little bit too pigmented for what I like. Do you get me? No, you can tap it away so easily, so easily. But what I found works better is bounce. Sorry, my hand is like totally in the way. Let me just show you. Like I'm not going to waste product, but bounce up and down rather than swiping and then tap it onto your cheek and then it just has a more controlled way of dipping it onto, onto your skin. People probably already knew that, but like I felt like I discovered something wonderful, <laughs> okay? So that's going back and I loved it. Absolutely love those cream blushes from Fenty. Not one bad thing to say. For highlighter in powder form, I had this Ofra uh, highlighter in Star Island and I prefer this over the pink one. Prefer it much more. However, I'm not gone on them. And if I had it back, I wouldn't have bought either of them, but they're so expensive. Now that's one, because it really shows the texture on my skin and two, because the color is not up my, it's too icy for my preference. Now I prefer this one, much prefer this one over, what's it called? I much prefer this one over Pillar Talk personally. I'm just, I'm just currently not into icy tones, but there it is there. It, someone said that it was glittery on them. So I did a test it, for some reason. Didn't didn't look glittery on me, but yet and all the other one did. So this one didn't look glittery. It was icy and it did accentuate the texture. All highlighters do to a degree accentuate some texture, but this one accentuated it more than Becca. It has very shiny. It's very, it's very shiny. I do like it, but not as much as I like other things, but out of the two, I do prefer this one. So we'll do another rotation around and see what the story is, but I'll keep wearing it like, you know, I'll keep wearing it. For bronzer, I rolled in this Fenty Beauty bronzer. It's a powder one, the Sun Stalker in the sun. And it's such a perfect shade for me. It's so hard for me to actually find a bronzer that's like uh, not too much as soon as I tap it down. This is a matte bronzer and it's beautiful. And I really, look at that, look, the FB is not even gone off it, which is fine. It's, a, it's an expensive product, but it's going to last you a good long time. And it's beautiful. Blends really, really easy. Like I put this bronzer on over a cream bronzer and I didn't have to set like, it didn't like get patchy and like skip when I was trying to blend it over a cream. It's just no problem whatsoever. Beautiful. Really glad I have it now. It's it, this is This particular one is a cool undertone. It's kind of similar to the... Hula light, I think, this particular one. Oh, welcome, welcome, beautiful. Are you here to say hello and be disruptive? Yes, you are. Okay, so this powder blush is from L'Oreal La Blush. And this one is in the shade, I was gonna say Rose Dragon, Rose Pastel. And it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. I use this so much, I had to put it away because I was I'm panning a billion blushes. Do I ever learn? No, I don't. This is so lovely, guys. It's so easy to work. Look at that. It's like this bubblegummy pink, but it's not on too much on your cheek. It's nice. It's a. It's. It's not too pigmented upon first dap onto your dab onto your cheek, but you can certainly build it up very easily. It's a matte blush, and I'm actually very intrigued. I wonder do they still sell these because this is a really nice formula. It's a little bit powdery. I actually really enjoyed this. I was really surprised because. Well, this brand is accessible. When does that ever happen? Never. So now we'll go on to eyeshadows. So normally I pull in one eyeshadow palette at a time. However, 
as you saw, I went crazy this time because of Valentine's Day. Just The first palette I pulled in is this cranberry one from Natasha Denona, and I got this from Ilen, and it's beautiful. So this one here is a stunning palette. My favorite shade is this. This is definitely a cream. This it feels like a cream. These are mattes. Uh, sorry, that's a matte, and that is a regular shimmer shade. This is my favorite shade. It's so stunning. Love it. It's actually quite different format to any of the other Natasha Denona palettes that I own. But I'm glad I got to use so many different things. This is from NARS. This is the Orgasm X and it is my first ever eyeshadow from NARS. I received it from Christine and who is an absolute bloody unbelievable human being. Let me just say to you, I wish I was even a fraction of a person that she is. Um, she gave me this. Oh, oh my God. The formula of this is shockingly good. I did not have to wet my brush and I always wet my brush. OK, let me tell you, I always do. This matte is so incredibly blendable. This was so pigmented and gorgeous. That is not even an exaggeration. It was gorgeous. I was like so shocked. Are all NARS formula like this? Because it's just so beautiful. Look at the size of it. And the colours are right up my alleyway, right up there. This is from her as well. This is the Viseart. The three of these are from Christina uh, Viseart Pro. I don't know how you know because I never had Viseart before. Like, what's the name of it? Is it Pro 2 or is it like Pro 2 18A? But either way, it's so stunning and I use this one as well. I just feel like I need to keep this on for some reason. I don't know why. This same thing again, did not need to spray my brush. Slightly less intense in your face but really beautiful. Like, look at all those shades. I love all of them. I actually use every shade in this palette this last, well, I think it's three weeks this time. And uh, like you, you can even pop the shades out, guys. It's just so handy, so beautiful. Look how, like, what's that about, by the way? I see these on all the palettes. Why is that there? Does anyone know? Then this next one is one of the ones, sorry, that I used the most. This is the cheapest one that's here. If you're in Ireland, maybe not because you're going to have to pay to get it here. OK, but Bye Bye Birdie from Colourpop is just a win, is just a win. OK, all of these depend on your preference. OK, but for me, this is probably one of the oh, I just love Colourpop palettes. It's just their customer service is awful. But look at that glitter. When I said I used the glitter on the primer, that was it. Like there's a dip in here. This, I don't know if you can see, but we are getting a bit of a dipule in there. These two are super shock shadows. There's a glitter as well. I want to, and this is a shimmer shade. This is such a blendable shade, but surprisingly quite poofy. Quite poofy. Like I want to swatch the glitter, but glitters are impossible. Let me just, can you see? Um, There's no point in swatching it because it won't go. Can you even see that? Can you hear the noise that she's making? I don't even know what it is she's doing in there. But this is such a fantastic palette. And I used all of the shades in here um, more than once. And I love it. And I love this palette. It's like so, not so, well, yeah, surprising. I don't know why I love it so much, but I just do. I suppose you wouldn't think when you look at it, you'd be like, oh, that's nice. Excuse me. But you can get so many different looks from it. It's so surprising. This is from Path McGrath and I kept the box but I just not for this video it's in the drawer. This is the Divine 2, is that what you'd call it? Here it is. Oh, Genie Mac. Genie Mac, what a unique thing altogether. The component is extremely heavy, which as you guys know it would want to be for the price. These two shimmer, these three shimmer shades are like the same formula. They're like a regular shimmer beautiful. This is a duo chromey pink shade and these are all the funky, wonderful things. Um, I have a look with this particular shade and I will show it to you because I, I just thought it was so cool and unique. It's like brownie gold and absolutely stunning. I did a look with this as well, but I won't put them all there. We'll be here for the day. These mattes are so bloody blendable. So bloody blendable. blendable. I loved all of this. This is a topper shade. OK, not its own shade. And it's just beautiful god it was so oh hey putting things away so grateful and i mean grateful hey okay, guys so the first drawer we have some new foundations coming in the post this week so i want to pull in this one that meant is meant to match me and see does it actually match me i, I used this one the last couple of times so this is the revolution pro cc perfecting foundation in f3 it is such a lovely foundation like I really enjoy it. It's a, more on the fuller side. 
I thought it was being discontinued. Now I don't think it is because I am seeing it on a good few websites. And it's like, I think I paid 12 euros for this. And I really enjoy this. It's similar to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I finished mine. I repurchased it there, but I ordered it in a different shade to see would it suit me better. But yeah, this is coming out. Okay, so for concealer this time, I think I'm going to pull in this one because I haven't pulled it in yet. This is the Tarte Shape Tape and I haven't used it in a good old while. This is in the shade Fair and it is very, very light under my eye. Definitely doesn't match. Definitely might be too light, but we'll see. I'm going to pull it out for primer. What have I not pulled? This one. I haven't pulled this one. This one is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I haven't used this yet, so I'm excited to see what this one is. What's the story with this one? I loved the other one, so we'll see. For powder... Gosh, good lord. Maybe, I think I'll pull this one in that I got from Ilen last year. This is the Annabelle Perfect Matte in the shade Translucent. There it is there, so I'm looking forward to using this. I love seeing Annabelle and Canadian brands. How exciting is that? That is my first drawer. Drawer number two, guys. Drawer number two. So for primers this time, my mascaras, eyebrows, everything is in there. I don't pull in a mascara because I pan one at a time. This one I'm going to pull in. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow a Primer Potion from Elaine. In original, I panned one of those to completion before and it took such a long time. These are new. These are, do you remember that? I don't know if you do. The Colourpop order I placed on Black Friday went missing and I got a um voucher from Colourpop to get other things so i got the wild child collection so i'm thinking what will i do well i'll start over here first okay so i've pulled in i want to pull in drama class and fuego is this what it's called fuego flush let me open them here they are here i'll do swatches at the end but i haven't used these yet because these were all like part of that voucher i got in January for Christmas so like I purchased them in January from a voucher that I got for Christmas so I'm so excited to use these I've loved the formula of these so much so much there's no point next week I want to pull in the next two weeks I want to pull in that I don't want to pull in any cream bronzers because I've been panning too many of them way too many in my humble opinion and I don't think I'll pull anything will I Anything else from here? Maybe I'll pull all three of these. My goal is to use them at least once. I'll go through the shades of them at the end. Next drawer is lip products. Wonder should I do an old chopping block situation again since I had that experience. I got three lippy sticks from that Wild Child collection though. Part of me kind of wants to try them. Actually, I'll try all three of them because I want to see what the difference is. You know? Here's the three of them. So this one's in the shade Oh Behave. Then we have Brat Pack and we have Sassy. And again, I'll swatch these at the end. That's three. And I want to pull in one liquid lipstick just to see what the story is here. Now I panned one of these before, so let me pull in. Let me pull in this one here from the band. This is the Meat Matte Hughes in the shade Trustworthy. So we'll see. Okay, we won't pull in a bullet because we don't need to lose our mind. We've already gone cray cray enough. We might pull in the other one from Soap and Glory. This one is in the shade Bare Enough. I think I panned one of these before. Bare Enough. Okay, and then this drawer is blush, bronzer and highlight. Uh, God, nice guys, has not I? Or I was thinking about this and I want to pull in this here because I never use it and I want to see what the story is. This has a blush and a highlight in it and it's from mac and it's one of their limited edition christmas collections and this one is in the shade nutcracker switch sorry two two and at dusk are the two shades that are in here so i want to pull this in see what this oops but i also want to pull this in because i want to see do i want to keep this uh i purchased makeup through elaine and then the order messed up and they gave extra stuff and elaine gave some to me and some to her and this was the extra thing this is the Juvia's Place blush in Serafina, and the reason being is because I love the shade, but it's very, very pigmented, and I just want to see, can I make this work? Or what's the story? Then, for the bronzer, maybe this, because I haven't worn this. This is the Makeup Revolution, so it's the I Heart Makeup in Bronze and Glow. There it is, there. I actually really liked this. This is a subtle highlighter, and I did like this bronzer. I have used nearly the drips off, but it's been a while. 
So looking forward to pulling that in. For highlighter, I know I already pulled a highlighter, but like I want to pull this one for Makeup Revolution because I haven't worn this one in a good while as well. This one is in the shade Peach Lights and it's a cool tone. Like for me who prefers like not icy tones, I seem to have so many of them. And I have a, a two other ones I want to pull, but I just don't want to be overwhelmed either. Face palettes, I don't think I want to pull any pull any just yet because I don't want to overwhelm myself. Like this will be the next one that I pull. But I think I have enough going on here with everything I'm panning. I'm panning two two highlighters and I'm just after pulling in a further two. That's four. Oh, I'm after pulling in a further three, that's five, so that's too many. Right. So for eyeshadows, what do I want to do? This I know don't want to go too crazy but definitely and i've already pulled in three of those super shocks this one here the wild child one obviously because this is what we're and here it is here i swatched them all and they're bloody beautiful they look so much nicer on, than in the pan if you get me it looks even better so i'm excited to play with it i know i love their formula anyway like i really enjoy it i do find the formula different depending on the palette so gonna pull that in gonna pull it in now I want to pull in one of these because it's gonna it's this time of year isn't it this one is the one I want to pull in because I haven't really used that given it as much love as the other one this is the colored rain cheers to the beauty from Elaine goodness gracious me look how huge it is here it is it's massive it's bloody massive but I think now is the time now is the time like I really want to pull in those singles from JD Glow, but that can't be today because I have too many, too many in, and I don't want to keep prioritizing using the shot my stash ones. I need to use the stuff I'm panning. And let me just see. Like I've already pulled in two, so I think we're all good for now. Okay, guys. So here's everything that I picked out for the time being, and I'm going to show you all of the swatches of everything. So to start off with these cream blushes because from Fenty because they're in an awful awkward swatch. I picked the purple one is cheeks out and the orange one is fuego flush and here they are here so i'm curious to see how this one will work i picked it because it was unique to my collection so we'll see and then over here so i started with this blush here that's it there it's from juvia's place and it's in the shade seraphina and it's a matte orange blush then these two here are from Mac, matte blush on the highlighter so here they are sorry here they are there so here and here this seems like quite an intense highlighter so that's nice i am actually pretty happy with that surprisingly it's been so long and then this highlighter here is this highlighter here is the pink one from makeup revolution that doesn't feel like much of a difference here in formula which is weird i know that there should be this is the i heart revolution bronze and glow and the bronze is here and the highlight is here it's like this champagne -y color i just like this it'll take you so long to use up though wouldn't it such a nice product over here is everything else so far so this first one here is really really matte really really dried down already and it's the meat matte hues from the balm as in the shade trustworthy this next three across are from here the new ones from Colourpop so this first one is in Sassy feels like a nice creamy formula I have to say what am I doing this next one here is in Brat Pack this lighter colour here look at all these browns guys and then this darkest one here is in the shade Oh Behave this swatch down here I just wanted to point it out to you can you see it this one this is the one I'm panning and it's not limited edition it's in the shade Girl Gang here that I'm panning currently now for these three. So this first one here, this brown with these gold glitters, this is Colourpop Free Rain and it is the Super Shock in Ultra Glitter. So dark brown with a dark cool tone brown with gold glitters. This next one here, which is ugh, this next one here, which is kind of coppery. I don't see any glitters in it. I just see a nice shine copper. And that is called Basic Instinct and it's an ultra metallic. This one here, which is like a goldier, it's like a coppery gold with gold glitters and pink glitters and that is called run wild and it's an ultra glitter it's so stunning i think that's everything here 
Here's the Wild Child palette up close. I think the shade here is a glitter, is it? It's in the shade Lashes, I can't remember. Oh, doesn't feel like your regular glitter. Feels like a glitter all over, not like the regular one. It feels like a hybrid. So stunning. This one is in Fierce. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. Nice. <gasps> wow, that is a dark brown. That's all the shimmers I just swatched there and they're so stunning. Here's the Cheers to the Beauty palette from Coloured Rain and I don't really want, I'm not going to swatch everything because I'll be here for the absolute day. We'll do the blue, we'll do the green, and we'll do the gold. Blue, green, gold. Blue, green, gold. Oh, it's so stunning. So I'm just going to put everything away. <laughs> Okay guys, so that's everything I'm panning and that's in my shop by stash, which is a lot. My eyeshadows are here, but I think that this is actually a lot, so we'll just have to see how we get on. So that's my shop by stash, guys. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe and I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye.